Welcome along to another lockdown cartoon workshop. So today we've got the remnants of our yesterday's tape it to the window cartoon. What does this say? Look a little bit closer. It says, get on with it. Okay, so we will. We will get on with it. We'll open the door and have a look at what we're going to be drawing today. And, ah, oh, no, not circles again. What is he on about? Crazy animals. But I'm not talking about you lot that have all got uh, cabin fever because you're all locked in. I'm talking about some crazy animals, some different types of animals we can draw using what we're used to drawing, which are the two circles. So I've drawn three identical or pretty identical shapes. The O with a little half O next to it. If you want to uh, have a go at drawing those, pause it if you like to give yourself a bit more time and just get yourself ready because we're going to draw three different animals just using the same the same start so with this one I'm going to do a slightly upturned line for a change a slightly upturned line that's going to be one type of animal for this one very similar to the fish and the people and everything I just do a downturn line as long or as short as you like it really honestly doesn't matter it's just going to look more and more like your cartoon so don't try and do it exactly like mine if you don't feel like it but this one's going to be even longer so we've got three types of nose really that we're working on or snout if you're looking at the animals whichever you want to call it so try these three to start with i wonder if you can guess what they're going to be yet Let's see. So on the end of this one I'm putting a little circle and I'm going to colour it in like we now we normally do. Leaving a little bit of shiny, a little bit of shine on the nose. And where I usually do the C shape, I'm going to do a big C shape because this is going to be a mouse. And that's its ear and that's a uh, the other ear over there so if you want to you can do it like the big M shape that we're used to as well so a little bit of detail on the inside of this ear because that's the sort of outside of the ear we don't see the detail inside that one and you can shade this in later when you get your coloured pencils on the go We're going to make its face shape now with a U shape again from the ear to the nose. If any little gaps between like the ear and the, the nose or the face or whatever, you can just fill those in later. There's no problem. Just take your time. I'm doing a little smile on my mouse's face. And the eye, I'm going to make it quite big. Just circles. And I'm going to colour or shade that in, whichever you're working with. Just so we leave our little shiny eye again. Open the mouth a bit. A bit more of a grin. And a little neck there. We can work on bodies at another time. I just want to get you used to drawing faces now because a body's like a different lesson. We can make it just as easy, but I'd rather do it... Um, just work on the smaller parts first, which is the face. Okay, so a slightly bigger nose or snout this time. Working again from the eye in a U shape to meet up with the end of there. So again, you can make anything from this. That could be any animal we want. It's, it's, you can use it for so many things, just these two circular eyes and always starting with the eyes. So on the end, I'm just going to put a circle that overlaps this a little bit. But it doesn't matter about that because we're going to colour or shade it in. Again, leaving a little bit. So now it's starting to look, maybe, can you tell? It's, uh, it's going to be a little dog, this one. So on the top, we put an N shape. I'll show you how to do more fluffy dogs another time. And we'll try and, if you've got a pet dog, we can do like a caricature of it. But using this, this technique, there's lots of different animals we can draw. So for the ears, I'm going to do the M shape again. 
Again, shapes that we're used to. And the middle of the M is right on top of his head. But we just need to fill these ears out a little bit now. So I'm going to start from the middle. You can go that way if you like and end up at the middle. But I know where my pen's going to end up in the middle because I'm going to start there. There. And then just join them up. Then you've got nice floppy ears. The eyes, quite small, again with the shiny bits. We can put the uh, eyelids on if you want to. And then if you want to also we can put a few little, uh, put a little smile on its face and a few dots for its, its little whiskers. Just a suggestion of where they are. And they all are, again, adding details to your cartoon. There's the neck. Now the collar that we usually put on the people's t-shirts, etc. We're going to make it a little bit bigger here. We're going to make it bigger because it's the dog's collar and make it look a bit loose and slightly silly. Okay, so I'm going to just make that almost like a square. And then we can just fill in the background, colour it in. There, there you've got a nice, nice, work, work big with things on a cartoon. Make it nice and obvious. Now I'm going to put a little uh, neck, like a dog tag on here, for his name. But the only thing is, sometimes you draw the shape and then try and fit the words in, it doesn't always fit. So what I sometimes do, to make life easier for myself, I draw the name, or write the name first. I'm going to call this dog Bob. So... Now I draw the tag around it, so I know the wording fits in the dog tag. It's just an easier way of doing it, again. So, we're moving on to the, uh, the third animal. Maybe an elephant. It's got a long nose by the looks of things. Um, again, we're going to work on the bodies at a later time. I will, do, I will get around to that, don't worry. Just like I did with the uh, the people's faces, right, we're going to be working on bodies as well. So with this one, we're going to start from the eye, and it's going to be a C shape again. But this isn't an ear, so I'll just hang fire a minute. Just wait, because we've got to put the ears in higher for the horse, which is this. This is what's going to be. So we're going to do a C shape, okay? Because horses have got like a bit of a a large cheek must be for chewing um, mint imperials I think that's what nature designed it for I'm going to do a U shape just to connect it and that's my cat scratching my seats if you can hear a strange noise in the background so we're going to do this is the mane coming off the top of the eyes So now we need to do the ears higher up. We're going to do a curved shape. Okay. And then to give it a bit more sort of horsey ear shape, we're going to do like a, almost the shape of a letter B. And just the tip of the other ear, we can see behind that mane. You don't need to put all the detail behind there. Um, and because I've made that a little bit big you don't you can play with that yours probably better than mine well there's a little bit of detail for the inside of the ear now I'm going to do this neck of the horse going straight down you can do it on more of an angle if you like I've just run out of space there trying to fit everything on you could try it on an individual piece of paper if you like I could have gone at an angle as if it was walking along but I'm doing it more sat up but it still works just about yours will be better so this is the mane, just some nice uh, hair coming down its back. Now the nose is going to be tricky. Very, very tricky drawing a horse's nose. It's going to be really test you, this one. So get ready. So letter O. Surprise, surprise. Another letter. 
and we're going to fill it in. It's more like an oval oh, than a round oh. So underneath, like we do with people's mouths, we just put a little shadow underneath. And the shape of a nostril on the other side. So it's just about details now. I know Ollie did a crash course. Ollie's tuning in and watching us and he's, he's done all the cartoon workshops in a row. So he's going to be an expert by now. So making the eyes look slightly dopey there. He's looking to the side, slightly worried at the, about that dog. I'm going to give a little smile. And a couple of bags under the eyes, just for, again, more detail. And you can do whatever you want to it now. You've got the basics. Just keep adding little bits and pieces here and there, whichever you like. A few whiskers on the mouse, why not? And you can just keep working a little blaze on the front of the uh, nose there for the horse. And already now for to do some shading or with your coloured pencils or felt tips, you can just put a little bit of shading and colour into these again get used to the shapes draw them a few times draw them a few different ways just get used to it I, can, I feel as though you really from the bits and pieces you're sending in all your fantastic work you're really getting the hang of it really quickly which is great for me because I'm glad to see you're enjoying it so there's that little bit of shade under the neck and along the bottom of the face just gives it a little bit more 3D. I'm going to colour the mane and with my turbo charge pencil look at the speed of that shading. It's called speed shading, it's an Olympic sport back in the 70s. So just shade wherever you can. There, you've got your crazy animals to start with. Thanks to Lisa and family for joining in and I hope You've all got your different signatures that you're working on. That's the most important part. So everybody knows it's you that's done it. So don't forget to add that and work on these. We can do as many animals as you like. We've got some sloths coming soon, some turtles, all sorts of things. Well done for having a go at those. And don't forget, you now know how to animate your cartoons. So. If you want to have a go at animating anything you've drawn today or the other day, just you know what to do. Press it up against the window and give a little bit of life to it. So tell your friends to subscribe so we've got more people to teach. And we'll see you all tomorrow.